you guys know Am Amulets? He is a really incredible uh, tape ambient guitar artist. He sent me this old tape player that he's modded with a uh, speed adjustment wheel, which is super fun. So he makes these loops, tape loops. You can see this one is super short. There's barely any tape in there. If you're really young and don't know about tapes, this is what a normal tape looks like usually. There's a, there's a lot more in there. When I was a kid, my first experience of recording was with cheap tape cassettes like these, and uh, my family had this boom box with a dual tape deck. So you record on one tape, take it and put it in the other side of the tape deck, play it while this one was recording from the built-in microphone on the tape player and recording the older tape back onto it. A pretty cumbersome lo-fi process, but I had a lot of fun with it and uh, it didn't sound good at all. But yeah, Amulets is taking this to a whole other level and he's opening these tapes up and cutting them down to smaller loops and just recording interesting things on them, having a few different players do these asynchronous loops. Really beautiful stuff. So I'm gonna try and make something with uh, a couple of the tapes he sent me. Here's another one. I haven't listened to this yet. Let's check it out. same on both sides? Is this like a weird Mobius strip? No, but it sounds similar. Oh, slightly different. Look at how much that tape is moving. So much warble. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna make with these, but uh, we'll try something. Thanks so much, Randall, for mailing me this. I'm kind of just excited to have a cassette player again. I've accumulated a few tapes in recent years and haven't had a way to listen to them until now. Let's quickly check some of these out. Oh, this one. I just had to grab it at the thrift store. It looks like it's a bunch of answering machine messages. Okay. Hi, this is Ron Hill. We can give you a buzz. Just get back from the trip. There was definitely a person's voice leaving a message, but what are all these? It's just full of amazing beeps. Beep boops. I don't know what's causing that. They sound kind of cool, but they're also covering up most of what these people are saying. I'm gonna rewind back to the beginning. Remember rewinding? Not YouTube rewind, which is a thing no one should remember. <laughs> This might take like five minutes. All right, I'm just gonna see where we're at here. Okay. Oh yeah, beautiful stuff from my buddy Greg, White Noises. This should be a fun one. <laughs> Damn. This is like blood curdling level. Um, I was expecting like just some cute Halloween fun, but these are horrifying. Can you imagine making this too? This is just someone yelling at their tape machine. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's make music. We're gonna music with uh, another amazing thing I just got in the mail. This is the light storm. It's a Eurorack case with a built-in light show. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So this is a prototype that my friend Henry sent me. He's kickstarting these performance-oriented light-up modular cases. So far, it looks pretty amazing. I'm gonna get some modules in here to process amulets, tape loops, and uh, I wanna see what it looks like in some dimmer lighting. Yeah, that's dope. All right, you know what? We're gonna come back to the fun lights in a little bit. I wanna record a loop of my own onto here. Let's do that right now. So the push is triggering some drums in Ableton, and I'm feeding that into the mic input of the tape machine, cause that's the input that it has. But before I can record this loop, I need to set the speed of the tape so that the length of the tape loop matches what I wanna play. Okay, that's pretty close. Now let's see if this mic input works. I'm gonna tape over this loop with this beat.
Oh man, that is dirty. <laughs> and also, I didn't quite press stop in time, so the loop recording went a little bit over one of the kicks I intended to hit, but I actually like how it sounds. Like, this is gonna be a raw, like, lo-fi, lo-fi hip-hop beat. <laughs> Okay, my plan was to vlog a little post office trip with this music as the background, but it's just too rainy. I don't wanna do it, but I'm gonna send this to Amulets. This is the uh, Electra Sluice that I made a video about a little while ago. Uh, just to say thank you to him for the tape machine. He was interested in this. And uh, also, I will link to the Lightstorm Kickstarter in the description. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah.